Jessica, welcome to Afternoon Express. Hope you've had a lovely week. Well, we're about to send you turning it up into the weekend. Our first guest is Nogo Aziklamini. You might have known her from when she toured all over the world with Bongo Muffin and Tandi Somazwai. But now she's embarked on a solo career and she's here to tell us all about it. Danilo is in the kitchen. Indeed, Clement, Clement and Sons, making delicious treats for all our guests. Yes, also today on Afternoon Express, we've got one of the cast members and the director of Joseph and his Technicolor Dreamcoat, who is currently in Cape Town at the moment, and an incredible performance. I went to go see it, it really changed my life. Such a happy and uh, such a good memories coming out of that show that came out. We've got them in the loft with us today, and I'll chat to them later on. But also Clement and Son. I don't know why I said Sons, yeah. just the way the song. And a full name, sounds like I'm in trouble. Mm. Clement. Mm. 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 I need can call by my full name when I'm in trouble. Well, you are in trouble today because you're making one of those dishes that I'm very jealous about because uh, a Thai curry is something that takes a lot of people, it gives people anxiety because it's All one right. of those dishes that's got so full of flavors, you can go so wrong with it in so many different ways. But today you're gonna be showing us how to make a freezer-friendly version of a prawn green curry. And it's gonna be so simple. I okay. think it'll literally take you about five minutes to put it all together. Really? Let's make bet on it. How much? Okay, well, it's my kind rand. of dish. Do it, yes. 500 Rand? I don't even know that much. So no, we're gonna not have that bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make something delicious on the show later on, and you can cook along with us. I'll share all the details on how you can make this delicious recipe with us right here on Afternoon Express later. Indeed, so mothers at home, I know you guys work incredibly hard. You come home from work, you've had a very, very long day, and have forgotten to make something for dinner. And so we're gonna show you after the break right here on Afternoon Express is how to make a freezer-friendly prawn Thai curry. It's gonna be absolutely delicious, plus a chance for you to win with us right here on Afternoon Express. So stay with us on three. Welcome back to Afternoon Express as we kickstart your weekend and get you some recipes to get going for this coming weekend. And I must take a very serious moment here because something so special is about to happen. Clem and myself are about to tie the knot with the Thai curry on national television. Right, Thai curry we're making today <laughs> and right, freezer gonna, friendly. Okay, okay. That was okay, a goodie. Okay, it was, a, it was, it was all right. Okay, it was it's okay. a weekend, I can have some fun, right? You call that fun? Yes. All right, yeah, yeah, it's okay. fun time, it's fun time. So let's get started, Great. right? In my wok, uh -huh. quite noisy wok there. So I'm glad very, you got your wok at wok. There we go. Mm -hmm. On a very high heat, it has to. When it comes to Asian cooking, preparation is key and doing things fast on a high heat is essential. Okay, great. All right, we don't want to spend hours in the kitchen. So I've got some canola oil, and you want to use canola oil because it's got a higher burning temperature. As I mentioned, we're cooking over a high heat. So okay, that great. goes in there. And just what he's mentioning that I've mentioned before on the show, but obviously like something like an olive oil has got a very low uh, burning temperature, mm -hmm. so it's rather keep that one at, at room temperature for your salads, etc. But canola oil, like you said, has exactly. got a nice high. You'll find that the olive oil will start burning, actually go very yes. bitter. You don't want to do that. So cool. I've got my amazing Woolies Thai green curry paste. I've got so many of those in my cupboard. All of the flavors. I marinate my meat in it all the time. Oh, really? Everything. <laughs> in a coconut oil, yeah. Exactly. So it's going to go in. Yummy. I can see all the ginger on that already, which is perfectly good for Thai. And we spoke about this before. So why is it called a green Thai curry paste? It's got green chilies in it. Yay. And which is quite, it's a lot fresher and more citrusy than the red one. Cool, yeah. So, so you'll, you'll expect a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of like lemony, limesy flavors in there. Lemony, limesy, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And because it's raw, you want to fry those ingredients so it becomes fragrant. Mm -hmm. The neighbors should be knocking right about now. Ooh, yummy, yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. In goes my coconut, coconut milk. milk. Or coconut cream, it depends what you want to use. Yeah. A lot of people ask what's the difference? Coconut cream is just a higher percentage of coconut fat and it's generally thicker. Okay. But it also has a slightly creamier texture of flavor to it. Yeah, so it's like, what's well, this in cream and full, full fat milk, I guess, it's the same thing. So, exactly. Um, the nice thing about going with coconut milk instead of the cream is that you are going to be cooking it off, so you do want it to be able to reduce slightly, so it becomes a sort of cream in its essence anyway. So don't, if you want to go with the cream, it might be just too dry and too thick. Look at you. So amazing. You've learned so <laughs> much. That does it to me every time. Young it's, grasshopper. It's going to stop so being funny when you start like, <laughs> doing those things. It's going to stop being funny soon. Yes. All right. Oh, so I've got you. this amazing green mm. medley um, vegetable pack. This is also available in the freezer section now. Lovely. So, I mean, we spoke nice. about freezer and why things are so great when they come from the freezer. If you think about vegetables that have been harvested and then frozen instantly, you're actually locking in the nutrients, the yeah. color, the texture, the flavor, which is, in, which is good. And a little fact is that actually what happens when you do harvest fruit, they freeze the fruit first for a couple of months before they actually serve it in, in some of the, the, the sort of chains, etc. because it's good at locking in all those nutrients and those, and those, those things in. So something that you also didn't know, so freezing wow. is actually a really good way to keep mm. all of that stuff locked inside um, a deliciously fresh ingredient. Exactly. And, and obviously the convenience of having all these ingredients in your freezer makes life easy as 
Something that's easy. Go pie. for it. Pie. Pie. I guess. <laughs> or Thai curry. That's. What and Woody's has some basic freezer pies as well. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, no, really. Coming home at the end of the day, you don't want to be slaving away. Yeah. All you need is these simple ingredients from your freezer, and you're going to be ready in no time at all. So veggies go in, and I don't want to cook it to death. Yeah. So I would literally do that for about five minutes, not even. And in go our amazing frozen prawns. Why is? <laughs> I'm laughing so much because my producer in my head just said to me, "It's easy as Thai because it's so rhymes with pie." And we've been having a stroke off air that he, he's trying to be funny. So he's anyway, it's yeah. hilarious. That ship has sailed. Yeah, it has. A long time ago. <laughs> what happens? I mentioned the sort of limey stuff earlier on because isn't there meant to be a sort of limey zesty exactly. flavor? Exactly. So, but let me first say the prawns have gone in, and again, these are also from the freezer. Amazing nice. frozen prawns, and they don't Ooh, take they're nice long. Nice size too. Yum. These are jumbo. These are like Ooh. whale size prawns. Delicious. Sure. But I need that lime. So my lime. Boom! Whoa! Careful. You got a... I almost called for a knife, but I, don't, I won't make that mistake again. Yeah, if, that, if that didn't work out, it would have been quite a lime thing. Oh, that doesn't rhyme. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the lime goes in. Squeeze it in. Oh, yummy. That's, and that's zestiness. That's that acidity to go with the creaminess and the spice, and it's going to just like open up all the flavors in and there. And lime is also a preservative, so it'll hold longer. I am so impressed. Guys, I'm not like daft. People think like, oh, you work on TV, you must be daft. I'm not daft. <laughs> okay, I love cooking. <laughs> uh, I've just torn some coriander in there. Mm. Don't chop it now, we'll do some chopping at the end. Cool. Some fresh spring onion, and that's bubbling Delicious. away. So literally, you're good to go once those prawns are just tender. And like okay. I said, two to three minutes and it's gonna be done. Okay. This is good to serve immediately. So, I mean, Delicious. I would serve it right now, but for a bit of a twist. I'm making an instant mashed potato. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of a twist and I have to serve a Thai curry. Okay. I promise you, it's going to be so good. Okay, don't tell us more just yet. We want to see later on right here on Afternoon Express. If you want to make this delicious dish, uh, don't forget to SMS the keyword curry to 33650. It'll cost you 150. Your free SMSs don't apply. You'll get a full list of the ingredients and a link to the recipe to make this at home. And like we said, I know you're a really, really busy person. So to find ways to cook things straight from the freezer in a couple of minutes, Clem just showed us how to do that. And you can get it by SMSing the keyword curry to 33650. Six five zero. Oh. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, a little bit early on in the show, we got to interview the cast of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And so I'm particularly in musical theater mode at the moment. So all I'm going to say is carry on, carry on, carry, carry on. We're going to carry on with okay, our recipe, okay. with Hold our carry that we're making. And all we're going to do right now is something that I've never actually been seen done before on national television, at home, at auntie's house, at uncle's house, is make a mashed potato for a curry. Now explain yourself, sir. Okay, it literally happened in high school. We were just like, hey, we've got curry, what are we gonna serve with it? I, was, I kid you not. <laughs> and we made mashed potatoes, and it, I swear it's the best thing ever. Really? Curry and mashed potatoes, well, what you do is, you kind of fold the curry sauce into the mashed potato, Yum. and you get the seasoned mashed And it, Does no one else do it? Never, I don't think anyone okay. else, everyone else is saying no, Clem, it's no. It's seriously, seriously good. Right. But you, you get that itis when you're done. Okay, really? <laughs> you, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna fall asleep, Instantly. <laughs> okay. What I love also about it is that you've also got all of these frozen ingredients, which you literally put that curry together in, I'm not even joking, like five minutes maximum. And now this is also something you can do quite instantly because I know everyone is incredibly busy. We want to save time. All right. So normally the process when you're making mashed potatoes is you're going to have to mash your potatoes. potatoes. Yeah, but th before okay. that, you peel it and you chop it up and you simmer it in water and then you mash it and you add your butter and you it Great. But if you're in a rush, that's not a solution. No, you don't grate them, hey? You mash them. Carry on. All great, right, so what great, happens, great. What happens so, with this version? Okay, this is a new product that I found. Okay. And I'm going to tell you now, it's quite strange because it's instant mashed potatoes, yeah. but it's legit. Okay, so it's actual potato. It is. It's real potato. Happy. And it's made with butter. <gasps> Yummy. So it's got that nice, rich texture it's to it. It's so good. Decadent. It's so good. So it's real simple. You keep it in your freezer always in case of emergencies. And it's so simple. Into the pot. And you can see. Okay, actually, take one, take one, take one. Got it. And hold up and just actually see what it looks like. So this is actually like, a, it's almost like they've taken the mashed potatoes, put them inside like a little freezer container and they've created these little discs, what do they call them? They're like little cylinders of happiness. Cylinders of happiness in my hand. And then all I do is I add milk and you can totally add more salt if you want. So um, white here. pepper, some white pepper is delicious Ooh, with mashed yummy. potatoes, a little bit of nutmeg, why yes. not? It's the canvas, it's what you add to it that becomes the art. Ugh, you're such That's a That's so hectic. Really That's not. so hectic. You not just put a knife to something, <laughs> carry on. <laughs> so, I want you to taste it. I know this, this product and I know it's good. I want you to taste it and tell me if it is authentic mashed potatoes. I potato. always have my doubts about instant mashed potatoes, so this is going to be a real test for me. Mmm. Where's the tense music? I'm just going to give you a drum roll, but no. How about mm. you just... 
And um, what I love most about it is it's dense. I think a lot of the instant mashed potatoes that people have had before have got that like sort of like wateriness water and like mm. this is it's mashed potatoes. It's rich, and I just want to eat this as a dessert or as a main course just on its own. Wow, that is. It is. So in the freezer, mm. and that cooks up in ten minutes, and you're so good to go. And I'm, oh, I'm serious. Delicious. You should always have it in your freezer. So it'll we, save you. I promise you. Have guests coming over, and everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry." I'm like, "Oh wow, I've got this thing." Mashed potatoes. Great. Cool. So let's just finish up our curry. Some spring Ooh. onion on top. Add some freshness. Some freshness and some cashew nuts. Why not? Me, which is a good crunch. I'm going to crash them over. Look at that. Yes, there we go. Crush Using my cashew palm. on a curry. It looks absolutely amazing. Lots of different mixtures of flavors. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy to make. And if you want to get all the ingredients and a link to the recipe, what you're going to do is take out your cell phone right now, SMS that keyword curry to 33650. That SMS will cost you one rand fifty, and your free SMSs do not apply. Curry to 33650, and this could be dinner this weekend. Try the mash. Here's a quick recap on how we made it.